Okay, what's next now? Um, take a screenshot here. Graph the function g is so user graph to answer a one to four. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, estimate the value of 1.5. All right. G of 1.5. G of 1.5. 1.5. 1 that looks like 2 to me. It's pretty spot on, too. Estimate the value of x for which g of x equals minus 6. Minus 6 would be here. So it would be about there. Um, oh, minus 2.8. Tick one box to show how many real roots this function has. Um, uh, just the one, just the one. Uh, it crosses only once, crosses x only once uh, from the graph estimate the coordinates of the local max and the local min okay at the max the local max would be oh it looks like it's here at minus 1.5 and minus 1 uh, Oh, sorry, yeah, the local of max. And the local min is this guy here, which is about 0 0.25 and minus 3.25. Uh, a different function has the following equation. Find the derivative. Okay, so the derivative would be bring down the power and reduce the power by 1, 3x squared, plus 4x minus 1. Find the equation of the tangent at the point 2, 6. So if we sub in 2, we get the slope. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12, plus 8 minus 1. That's 20 minus 1 is 19. And the formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that's y equals 19x minus 2 times 19 is 30. 8 plus the 6. So that's y equals 19x and ah oh man minus 32. I can check that this is right because when I put in uh, 2 I'm supposed to get 6. Yeah this looks right to me. Okay, that's another one done. 